Hey YouTubers, thanks for checking into Crazy for Lures. Today's lure review is going to be on the Storm Thunder Barra. Uh, this particular uh, bait has been designed uh, specifically for a, a type of, of, of predatory fish uh, that reside in, in different parts of the world but is, is iconic here down under in Australia and that's the Barra Mundi. All right, it was designed uh, by a gentleman, um, a Japanese uh, fellow that uh, came along uh, to, to specifically from the ground up design a lure that's uh, able to, to handle uh, the rigorous tasks of, of trying to catch and pull in these, um, these larger fish, okay? Um, all right, so this lure uh, is going to weigh 21 and a half grams. It is 110 millimeters long or 11 centimeters. Uh, this particular version is the medium diving version, uh, as you can tell by the, uh, with the lip here. It's, it dives to about two meters um, at, at, its, at its deepest uh, depth. Um, and then there's another version as well, which is the deeper diving uh, uh, version, which is the same length, same weight. Uh, but it dives to about three and a half meters. All right. So, um, all right. Let's look through the, um, the the features of this lure and 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 what makes it um, a pretty tough lure. All right. First of all, you're going to be getting Storm is uh, owned by uh, Rapala or Rapala, um, and yeah, they 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 also own VMC hooks. So yeah, the hooks are supplied by VMC. They are a thicker gauge, uh, as you can sort of tell there. They're salt water ready. Very nice, uh, big hooks on that. Straight out of the package, guys. You could use this and, and, and pull in a, a decent sized fish without too much worry. Uh, a, a decent sized split rings there for you. All right, uh, along with the front there, you're gonna get, be getting a split ring as well. It's a concave design here where your line tie is uh, in that section there, if you can sort of see there. It's a coffin uh, shaped uh, bill completely flat on on its top surface there then it goes into a nice curvature at the bottom here you can see that I've bashed this against uh, rocks and, and 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 different types of, of cover before there with the, with those uh, with that scratching and on that sort of angle you can see there that there's these lines that uh, come along there so that's something got to do with I suppose the the swimming action of it but there you are I'll show you on that angle so completely flat there and rounded on this side all right, moving into the uh, uh, the eyes itself, it's uh, Storm went, went with the the real angry eyes look. Pretty cool. I like my baits that look like that. They, it's you know it does nothing, absolutely nothing to increase your chances of catching a fish, but it it looks damn cool. Uh, this particular color actually is the it, it's called the bloody white bait. Okay, so that's the name that they've uh, given to it. So it's pretty much a red head design where the, the head is obviously red and the body is white. It's a very nice pearlescent white uh, in, in the back section there. And a very nice deep blood red at the front. You're going to be getting 3D gills uh, here. Raised 3D gills in three little sections. So it's raised there, raised there, and then raised there. Very simplistic, min uh, minimalistic design. Uh, with the eyes themselves, it's a it, it's a black design in the middle with uh, a, a, a red uh, trim around the side there. I, I would have liked, with this particular colour, I would have liked it if maybe they went with a different colour design to just, yeah, just to make the eyes stand out a little bit more on that one there. But, um, yeah, raised eyebrows there in that, uh, obviously, that angry sort of look. You're going to be getting, uh, in this section here, just at the tip of the head, you're going to be getting uh, glitter there, so flakes. They look uh, pretty much like gold flakes there. And as for the body itself, the rest of the body, there's no lateral line, there's no physical texture on this at all. It's completely smooth. All right, it's uh, this is what it pretty much sounds like. So you're going to be getting uh, two types of rattles in here. One's going to be a um, quite a, a series of smaller balls, and then you're going to be getting a a large one, like one massive uh, ball bearing in there. Now it's only when I shake it, when I shake it side to side, it's got that sound there. But when I shake it up and down, so 
is when you can hear the ball. So I'm pretty sure that might not even be, that's not going to be really a, a rattle, so to speak. It's going to be a, a more of a weight transfer system because I can uh, clearly feel the, that weight dropping to the back there. It's a bit hard to get that weight down there. So I'm not sure if it is a transfer a weight transfer system for better casting, but I can I can feel it as you, you're moving it like that. That, uh, that massive ball bearing is traveling from there to there. All right, so yeah, I um, had a chance to fish it a fair bit. I'm really liking the bait. Um, I would have liked it if they had three sets of trebles on it, but they've only got two sets. Uh, they look like number, say, four or maybe a number three size hook, but very thick gauge. Yeah, all up, um, yeah, liking the bait, liking the design. I like the angry eyes, um, nice finishes. I like the fact that, you know, from the ground up, it was designed specifically by Storm for for catching, um, you know, that, that, that Bar Barramundi uh, species, all right? So, yeah, um, happy fishing, guys. Um, click the like button, give me a thumbs up, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel. I'll leave you to it. See you around next time. Bye.